This damn song makes me tear up. I hate this song. But I love this song at the same time. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs. Instead, attempts to be non-biased while delivering unlike saving information disguised as entertainment. This has been a heavily requested video for the past six years, probably because this is such a subjective matter. I mean, everybody has a different, unique taste in music. So for me to suggest that these songs are the best songs to listen to while tripping, it's not only arrogant, it's just not true. It's going to vary depending on your own individual musical taste. What I can provide, however, are simply my favorite songs or artists to listen to while I'm in a psychedelic trip. And I've explained in the past, and I think it's just common knowledge at this point, that when you're undergoing, say, a psilocybin experience or LSD or the various psychedelics that are available, there's thousands of them, music is usually heightened. The word orgasmic comes to mind. But the opposite can also be true. Some music can sound so revolting that it can actually put people into a bad trip. Actually, some of my favorite music to listen to while tripping, I've heard other people say gives them a bad trip. So let's just go down the list. And in fact, if YouTube will allow me, I'm going to actually offer examples. I'm going to try to use a snippet of some of the songs so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. What good is a video talking about music if I can't actually let you hear? So we're actually going to start with the most boring, which is my all-time favorite. And then we're going to go down the list of some of the more bizarre entry choices and some of the stuff that you probably wouldn't expect me to listen to while tripping. Of course, I don't advise anybody trips, and I'm not suggesting that you trip with the sole purpose of listening to music, unless, of course, you're a huge audiophile. Starting with what I would consider my all-time favorite tripping music, that would be Spongle. You can tell just by looking at their album art that these guys were made for psychedelics. They have stated that they won't release a song until Raja listens to it on acid. So like the criteria for is this a good song is whether or not the old man vibes to it on acid, which I think is pretty fucking cool. And I think their most iconic song is Divine Moments of Truth, which is an acronym for DMT. We're going to play a snippet of this right now so you can get a feel of what it sounds like. and catch the chorus. I would say that was the first Schmungle song I listened to and it has remained one of my favorites, but one of the, the best albums to listen to. The whole album is actually each song leads into the next. It's called Nothing Lasts But Nothing Is Lost. This entire album, if you hear it from start to finish in a trip, takes you on a fucking journey. Oh, just do you hear like that creepy nature sounds? Do you see how this would creep some people out? I've actually played uh, Spongle for people before in trips and they've many times asked me to turn it off. It's like music that when you listen to it sober, it already sounds trippy. So when you listen to it while you're tripping, it's like next level twisted. And it really does twist and contort your brain in ways that you can't describe unless you're in that psychedelic state. Up next, this is a group that I like to listen to when I'm having a difficult trip. I find this music just very calming and it's almost like trip killer music. And the group is called Yaima, Y-A-I-M-A. -A. And I only discovered them recently, Gajumaru, the weirdest sounding title, but this song was like a poem for the addiction battle that I was going through. All, all the acoustic ones are great. The album's called Ceremonia, but all of their albums are good. Here, I'll play the my favorite song, a snippet of it. This damn song makes me tear up. I hate this song, but I love this song at the same time. Whew. All right, let's um, move on to the next entry. Following a similar theme to Spongle, we have a group called Entheogenic. And Entheogenic would be like a close second to Spongle. I think it's a little more calming. I like some of their songs because they incorporate things like uh, Terrence McKenna's voice and quotes into the music. And stuff like that is just great to listen to because, you know, that guy was a lyrical genius, which is interesting to say about somebody who didn't write lyrics, <laughs> but but he sounds that way in some of this some of this music. What's a good one? There's so many good ones. They're, they go from really fast paced, like there's one called Earth Song. When I, if I listen to it while I'm driving, I always speed, so I gotta keep that shit off. Spontaneous Illumination, I mean, just listen to that name, and then like the album art looks like this is a vagina. Yeah, yeah these guys are really cool. Yeah, the Terrence McKenna one, I think Invisible Landscapes, which coincides with the title of his book. This is like his song. All this music just makes me feel like I'm back in a trip. It's 
three down. How many are we going to cover? Maybe five. I think five is a good number. Five top artists for psychedelic trips. A lot of you guys are going to be disappointed because I'm wearing a Pink Floyd t-shirt and sometimes it is good. I'm not going to lie, but it's not my go-to. I like more so these weird mix of nature, this experimental style music that combines all kinds of different styles into one. I like the instrumental sounds because it allows me to write my own story while I'm listening to it. Honorary mention to shit like Pink Floyd, like the classics. It's just not my go-to. Anyway, moving down the list to number four, Fat Freddy's Drop a New Zealand band. My psychedelic journey really started in New Zealand. In fact, the channel Psych Substance was birthed during a psychedelic trip. Like I got the idea in New Zealand. So of course this New Zealand psychedelic style rock is, yeah, it holds a soft space in my heart. And I've listened to this on many trips. It's almost got like a soothing vibe. I've had some good trips listening to this music. My all time favorite album is, uh, yeah, it's Blackbird. One of the fav my favorite songs is definitely Silver and Gold. I could keep going and I could list so many more songs, but to keep this video short and to the point, maybe I'll do a part two where I cover more music. Oh, what's it going to be? A lot of you guys commented on my trip that you saw with Lauren. Why aren't they listening to music? Well, for copyright shit, goddammit. We wanted to listen to music. And this is a group that I was listening to during that experience, which I don't normally listen to, but it was actually really good. So let's let's name something new. And they're called Plantre. P-L-A-N-T-R-A-E. We just had this playing in the background, it sounded really good. It might have been this, Enter the Seed. There's like a violin part, and once that kicks in, and, and you're in a trip, it just feels so calming and like, ah. Here we go. A lot of the songs I like, I find they're very driving. It's almost like the opposite of what you would think you would want to listen to, but again, it puts me in this like adventure mode, which I like. I like feel like, I, like I'm, you know, an adventurer traveling through the cosmos. So yeah, I think we've named some songs that are good for the internal adventures. Spongle, Plantre, and Theogenic. They can take you on, on a trip, within the trip. And then stuff to help calm you down. Yaima. I think it's my favorite thing to calm me down in a trip. I think it's important to have a mix of both exciting music to listen to when you're tripping and more importantly actually is the calming stuff and what everyone's going to find calming is different to them. A lot of the times in trips when I've really freaked out and I've needed to calm down, I've actually just gone to say YouTube, assuming I can work my phone, and I would just type in meditation music and I would listen to like some classic like I'm in a spa style music that you would never listen to normally but it's just very simple and it helps bring you down. You don't always need something with intense lyrics. In fact, that can sometimes have the opposite effect, even if it has a calming nature to you sober. Like, it depends on the intensity of the bad trip. But if just things are, like, you know, feeling a little uneasy, then I might put on something like Yaima to just get me in a relaxed mood. But if things are, like, really about to hit, shit, hit the fan, I'm just literally going to type in meditation music. But again, music is so subjective. And depending on your own individual taste, it's going to vary so dramatically what you want to listen to. There's a lot of you guys out there who are going to hear my list and be like, oh, that's all weird shit. And I mean, I just like the weird stuff. My taste is very different when I'm exercising. When I'm working out, it, everything's fast-paced. Like, I listen to a mix of, like, metal, you know, rock, um, electronic EDM a lot of the time. Also, I listen to, like, remixed video game music, that ice cap zone remix oh i think i've heard at least 20 no exaggeration 20 to 30 at least remixed versions of ice cap zone and they're all phenomenal if you guys don't know michael jackson uh, composed the music for sonic the hedgehog 3 anyway we're going way off topic if you enjoyed this video and you want to see a part two let me know below there's a good chance that this video will be completely demonetized so if you support these videos check out our patreon you can pledge as little as $2 a month, and that helps ensure that I keep making content. And as of recently, I have been consistently uploading patron-only versions. Um, so there's that to look forward to if you're a patron. So head on over to Patreon, link below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, leave a comment for the mighty algorithm gods, and I will see you guys all in the next video.